Breaker Coups reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today we are reviewing the NECA Disney Gargoyles. Very, very, very exciting. Let's get it! All right, this is going to be a bit harder of a review to do just because of where we have Goliath. First and foremost, he's a very, very large figure. Um, here he is in comparison to uh, the, the the Hasbro Snake Eyes figure and an average Marvel Legends. So let's try to see if we can get him in frame a little bit better. And let's turn the music down. It might be a little bit too distracting. All right. My apologies. I had to make sure the music was down. I like that song. And that was from Attic Stein. Um, check, catch him on YouTube. That's the Gargoyles theme. It sounds really good. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is an amazing, amazing figure. This is one of my favorite figures I've gotten this year. The box is ginormous. Look at that. My goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Then the inside, the, the front cover. You guys, do you, you guys remember the, the game? Anybody remember the game back in the day on uh, Super Nintendo? That game was epic. But anyway, I digress. I'm getting off topic. I want to get back on topic. Okay. So, Goliath. I, like some of you, loved uh, Disney's Gargoyles. It was like one of my childhood things, coming home from school to watch Gargoyles, see what Goliath gets into. I started rewatching it again. I've probably seen it a good five, six times altogether. Um, but I'm watching it as an adult now, and the story holds up. They had a great cast. Many Star Trek people were doing that show. Look up the history of Gargoyles when you get a chance. It was really ahead of its time for an animated series. But again, this Goliath is just, it's boss. I remember there was a toy as, as a kid I had that was decent. But this basically shits on it. Okay? So yeah, my, ch my channel is for adults. So if you hear a lot of language, that's just because it's what it is. So sorry. But, um... Yeah, it, it, it is shitting on any previous Gargoyles property um, in action figure form. Uh, I'm going to probably remove some of the stuff just so it's easier because these wings, while they're painted really nicely, they do not get out of the way. Um, they are so large. I wish we did get one, some that would actually fold up. And they're ratcheted. So that's just how it sounds. It sounds like it's going to destroy everything, but it's not. So I'm taking them out right now, and they can fall out pretty easily. But for this review, I'm going to take them off um, just so we can actually see what Goliath can do. And then I'll put them back on. But he comes with several accessories. Look at that sculpt in the paint. I'm getting distracted. And the way his brows are, look how the shadow catches, catches it. Oh, my God. This is just amazing. This is amazing. His tail has bendy wire in it. You can tell because it has the, the, the spots for the air to get through. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a bendable tail. Um, his feet are just, they're, they're, they're gargoyle feet. Look how huge these things are. They've got veins. The toenails are kind of pointed, painted. I can't remember off the show um, if they're supposed to be darker than this. But again, it's very, very nice. There's a peg too in case you're having trouble standing him. You can grab one of those DC... Uh, McFarlane figure stands and put them on there and then you got a better base for him okay that's if you so inclined or feel like you need to have it okay so I like it um, his little loincloth here look at the paint on there the gold on the belt buckle <sighs> man they love this guy they, they loved whoever made this like you can tell they loved gargoyles there's only one thing on this entire figure that I'm really not a fan of. Um, 
And I know it's not exactly like the show because it's not the animated versions, but I'll take it. Um, but the one thing I don't like is the knees because look how ugly that is right there with this little overhang. That's the one thing I don't really like. I don't know why they designed it like that. Um, but everything else is nice. Look at the sculpting of the thighs. He looks like a bodybuilder. Looks like he could be made of statue. Um, God, that's that's amazing. Look at the mullet or the hair. I guess it's not a mullet. The hair is looking nice. This is really just making it worse. Let's get this out of here. Uh, but he's 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 freaking phenomenal. Um, he comes with this book, and this is the book that that I think the magician used the spells on the on Goliath people, and froze them in stone for a thousand years. Because Anatos uh, hooked him up. Yeah, you can see the terrors right there. That's a cool detail. Man, it looks all rustic. They just, I mean, they killed it. I cannot wait for Demona. I really can't. Um, he also comes with two fist hands, which you see one of them on there right now. Uh, one book holding hand, because, you know, he's got to read. Look at that pose. And he comes with two clawed hands which I'll put on in a minute. Look at that. Golly boy. Man. Ah, it's just a nice figure. I'm sorry. And then an angry head. Look at that. God. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he's awesome. I hope somebody gives us uh, some wings that can lay down or they'll probably put out another glass eventually that has wings that drape around them. But I'd either take that or some cloth wings or some wings that are able to go around them. Because I really, that, that the wings he has now just takes up too much real estate. But for now, where I'm going to place him, he'll be fine. Because he's going to be right up the top of my shelf like a, like a gargoyle would at the top. And no one will be in his way. So, very happy about that. So, all in all, this is just a phenomenal figure. Um, let's get some comparisons for size in here. Just so you guys can have an idea of how large in, in charge this figure is. So I'll bring in some of my biggest figures. Um, let's start with the Juggernaut from Marvel Select. Alright, so you can see Juggernaut is bigger than him. Of course he's going to be bigger than him, but you can still see he's tall. Uh, let's bring in another large figure. Let's bring in Paul. I brought in a Mythic Legions right here and a Mayfex Superman. Superman is so undersized. That's the one thing I hate about this uh, Mayfex figure. And a Saget next to him. He also comes with a jalapeno. You'd have to watch the episodes to remember why he had a jalapeno. I actually forget. I, I cannot remember what happened with the jalapeno, to be honest with you. I remember it, but I don't remember what he did with it. I can't remember if he liked him or hated him. Last but not least, let's bring in this last thing. All right, for those of you who watch my channel, you know how high I am on this Lady Death figure from Loose Collector. So, yes, um, there she is next to Goliath as well. So, if I had to give Goliath a score out of 10, I'd give him a 9.9. .9. If we could just fix that the, the knees just slightly or give him some more um, wings, then he would be a perfect figure. All in all, he's still damn near close to perfect. So I think you should get this figure if you see him. If you don't know anything about Gargoyles, if you've never seen the show, then stop playing around, buy this figure any damn way, then watch the show, and then you can come back and thank me and say, hey, World Breaker Coup, I didn't watch the show, but I did buy the figure, then I watched the show, and I'm so glad I did. That's what you should do, okay? That's what you should do, okay? So just, just do it. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Until next time. Peace. And my vengeance has been denied again.